Hi guys, um, it's your girl Tiki and today we are, um, you know, we are um, going on a tour, we are going to, we are here actually and then I'll be showing you um, the um, poster she has sent to see, yes that's a question, we'll just be having fun, so let's vlog, let's enjoy, uh, 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 I'm so excited about this video and still with me, let's have fun, let's enjoy. Hi guys, it's your girl Tolu Orotoe and um, you know for new subscribers or new watchers you can call me Tiki and if this is the first time here please just subscribe to this channel just help this small YouTube channel to grow and thank you so much for coming I really appreciate you as i said you can call me tiki i'm your friend and i'm just all about business and lifestyle and all that so today our final destination as you know as you already know is the potsdam schloss and Suse. um that's the san Suse palace at potsdam but i'll also be taking you on a tour to potsdam i'll be showing you potsdam i'll be you know it's a vlog and you just did my trip i want you to experience my trip with me from berlin to potsdam and let's just have fun uh, yeah you will be saying oh the yeah for those who don't know the um potsdam schlanz say is um a historical building in potsdam built um by the prussian king king frederick the great that's king frederick too so um you just be knowing a lot i'll be telling you about him i'll be telling you about the palace i'll be telling you the things i know about it and trust me it's an interesting story and one thing i'll also be doing is to be showing i'll show you the interior of this palace and many other palaces in germany so stay with me stick with me let's have fun let's you know let's just enjoy this trip together and we are here at Potsdam <laughs> before I go into Potsdam I'm so going to tell you about Potsdam before I tell you about it let's talk about Germany I'm sure we've heard of Germany you know in our history classes and all that and you know going there I was just like okay now let's see what we have learned in books we learned that Germany is notable for a rich history we see how rich they are and we still see that today through their old fashioned and colorful architecture their castles their palaces oh Germany has a lot of you know a lot of palaces yes um there are cathedrals landscapes mountains forests and there is just so much a lot of beautiful you know unique things in germany so potsdam was the imperial capital and the garrison town of the prussian kings back then it was a residence of the prussian kings until 1918 yes so now we are in the bus and we are going to um the Schloss and Sussex. But before then, I'm going to show you a bit of um Potsdam. I'm going to show you some buildings. You know, it's 2022. Hello. Now look at Potsdam. See how beautiful the buildings are. Look out. Look at how neat the um the environment is. It's quite beautiful. What I kind of think. Potsdam is neater than Berlin. What do you think? Do you think Potsdam is neater than Berlin or Berlin is neater than Potsdam? It looks really neat in this video and I just think so. Anyways, now we are going to our final destination and one beautiful thing, one interesting thing that I'll be doing at the um, Shosan Sose is I think I mentioned that earlier that I'm not going to show you the exterior alone. The exterior, I'm also going to show you the interior. I'll show you a lot of things, and here we are. Tada! <laughs> Don't mind me. Okay, so this is we are here. This is the um, Potsdam Schloss and say, and um, let's see. So let me tell you a bit about about this place and what you'll be seeing here. 
It's a historical building in Potsdam built by the Prussian King Frederick the Great. That's Frederick II. Um, it was a summer palace. It was built between 1745 and 1747 to meet Frederick's need for a private residence where he could escape the troubles of the royal court. I mean, you know, as a king, he had a lot of, um, a lot of brah at the palace and he just wanted this, this, um, place for, you know, to escape, to escape from the world and, he decided to build this place and look at how beautiful it is it's a really large large place it's so large you could get lost <laughs> anyway that's me yeah <laughs> <laughs> the parents are tired of hi baby <laughs> oh she's shy <laughs> Brazil. <laughs> so back to our story. It was beautiful, Frederick, and it was supposed to be a um, personal residence. And Frederick felt so attached to this palace. It was his place of rest. In fact, the palace's name is in French is Saint Souci, which means um carefree, without worries, without problems or anything. So it was supposed to be his place of relaxation, his place of fun, his place of rest, not a seat of power or a place to resolve court issues or something. Um, back to the story. During the 19th century, it became a home to Frederick William IV, and he enlarged the palace. You know, we already know that the town of Potsdam, with its palaces, was a favorite place of residence for the German imperial family. That was until the fall of the um, Hohenzollern dynasty in 1918. Look at the couple, the bride. Yes, a lot of couples, a lot of people go there to take pictures. So they went for their own photo shoot. That's the, um, it's a really beautiful place. There are a lot of places you can actually take pictures at the flowers the gardens mm, so pretty it was really cool then um after world war ii the palace became a tourist attraction and after the german reunification in 1990 frederick ii you know he had already he was already long dead by then but his body was returned to the palace and buried in a tomb overlooking the gardens he created i'll show you the picture of the tomb now but before then let's just really enjoy the scenery it's really beautiful and oh, i feel like going back there <laughs> So this is Frederick's tomb overlooking the gardens he created and um, that's basically it. I mean the palace was so large we could barely explore everything but I hope I tried in a way and now I'm going to show you the interior. And here we are at the palace. It's magnificent. See how huge it is. Oh, 
wow um now we are going to go into it and even though the next video was not shot and edited by me this is me bringing you the um the shlusan to see live and direct And that's it about the Postdam Schlossan Sissi. I really hope you enjoyed the video and you've been seeing me pictures. See, that's the dog we saw earlier, right? We are going back home. <laughs> you saw the dog, right? At the palace. Yes. Okay. Um, so now we are going back to Berlin and I hope you enjoyed the trip. I hope now you can, you know, tell people about about the post damn shoes and to see and that's it but before we go you know me now i can't go anywhere without eating i have to eat so i'm taking you to um, where we ate we had something to eat we ate our favorite food everybody knows this so join me join me let's have some dinner let's fill our tummy we've had a long day and now it's time to eat um that's all there is thank you for watching this video i'm really happy that you stayed with me till the end um if you're not subscribed to this channel please take a minute to just subscribe to this channel like this video and i really hope you enjoyed this trip and Thank you, thank you, thank you for staying with me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for subscribing to ch this channel. Tiki says thank you and Tiki loves you so much. Um, let me know what you think of the video in the comment section or anything else. So I'll see you in my next video and I love you. Tada! Bye!